Hello everyone, this is the first part of the video tutorial how to crochet a cardigan. In this video, I'll show you how to work the first 32 rows. Complete details about the project are available at enterunit.com slash crochet cardigan. On this webpage you may share pictures of your work and ask questions if any. Begin crocheting the cardigan from the top to bottom. Make a foundation chain of 60 chains. First row, insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work chain one, double crochet one, three times into the same base chain. And just that work one more double crochet into the same base chain. Then skip four chains. And work a shell for that work. Double crochet two. Chain one and double crochet two into the same base chain. And then just repeat, skip four chains and work a shell again. After that, skip four chains and work a corner. Again, double crochet two. Chain one. We stitch for that double crochet one. Chain one, double crochet one. And then chain one and double crochet two into the same base chain. And just a corner or increase work four shells. Skip four and work a shell. After the four shells, work the corner again. Double crochet two, chain one with stitch. Chain one and double crochet two again into the same base chain. After the corner, work two shells and a corner again. And 
at the end of the first row after last corner work three returning chains second row answer the hook under a chain and work double crochet one chain one double crochet two under the same chain We stitch into the stitch. And then work a shell under the following chain. After that, work shells into shells. When you crochet to your following corner, work shell under the first chain, then we stitch into the stitch, and then a shell under the third chain. And then just continue working shells into shells. Crochet this corner just like this one. Shell under the first chain, we stitch into the stitch, and shell under the third chain. Then work shells into shells. Last corner crochet as a mirror reflection to the first one. Work a shell under the first chain, we stitch into the stitch. Then work two double crochets under a chain chain one just one double crochet under the same chain and double crochet one into the very last chain At the end of the row, work three returning chains. Third row, work one shell under a chain. Then work a corner 
or an increase and do the stitch. Two double crochets. Chain one with stitch. And again chain one and two double crochets. After the corner, work shells into shells to your following this stitch and then work the corner again. Again, when you crochet to your following this stitch, work the corner to double crochets, chain one, this stitch, chain one, two double crochets and then repeat that two more times. Again, work shells into shells to your following this stitch and then work the corner and one more time. At the end of the third row, after last corner, work one more shell. And one double crochet into the very last chain. Three returning chains and turn. Fourth row, work two shells and then we stitch into we stitch. And then continue working shells to your following with stitch and work with stitch into the stitch and so on. At the end of the fourth row, work double crochet one into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row five, insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work one double crochet. Then continue the row as your third row. Again, work shells into shells to your with stitches, and then into each with stitch work the increase or corner. Two double crochets, chain one with stitch, chain one, two double crochets.
And then to the fifth row work two double crochets into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row six, enter the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work one double crochet. Then continue the row as your fourth row. So work shells into shells and with stitches into with stitches. And then to the row six work two double crochets into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row 7, enter the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work two double crochets. And then continue the row as your row 5. Shells into shells and then the corner or increase into the stitch. Then to the seventh row work three double crochets into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row eight, enter the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work two double crochets and then continue the row as your row six. Shells into shells and with stitches into with stitches. And then to the row 8 work 3 double crochets into the very last chain and 3 returning chains. Row 9, enter the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work 1 double crochet, then chain 1 and work 2 more double crochets into the same base chain. Then continue the row as your row 7. And then to the ninth row work two double crochets, chain 1, 1 double crochet into the very last chain and 3 returning chains. Row 10. Work under a chain one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And then continue the row as your row eight. And then to the tenth row work two double crochets, chain one double crochet under a chain and one double crochet into the very last chain of the row. Three returning chains and turn. Row eleven work shells into shells to your v stitch and then work the increase or corner a little bit differently so work two double crochets chain one v stitch and do not work chain one two double crochets in order to increase chains from the front part and do not increase chains from the shoulder part so again, two double crochets and two stitch. Chain one with stitch.
Then just work shells and two shells to your following the stitch. Now work the increase or corner as a mirror reflection to this one. So first to work with stitch into the stitch and then chain one to double crochets to increase chains from the back part and then work shells into shells. And to the stitch work with stitch. Chain one to double crochets. And then work shells into shells to your following the stitch. And then work the increase as a mirror reflection to this one. So first work two double crochets, then chain one with stitch and two with stitch. And then work shells into shells to your following with stitch. For the last corner or increase, work with stitching one to double crochets into the stitch and then shells into shells to end. And then to the eleventh row, work one double crochet into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row twelve. Insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work one double crochet. Then continue the row as your tenth row. Work shells into shells and with stitches into with stitches. And then to the twelfth row work two double crochets into the very last chain and three returning chains. Row 13 work two double crochets into the fourth chain from your hook, then work shells into shells to your V stitch, and then work the increase into the V stitch. To double crochets, chain one with stitch. So again, increase chains from front and back parts and do not increase chains from shoulder parts. Again, continue your 13th row as your row 11. And then to the thirteenth row work three double crochets and three returning chains. Row fourteen work two double crochets into the fourth chain from your hook and then continue the row as your row twelve. Work shells into shells and with stitches into with stitches. And then to the 14th row work 3 double crochets into the very last chain and 3 returning chains. When you crochet 14 rows, 
We're just double crochet row, doing in front and back parts together. Row 15. Insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work one double crochet. Then work two more double crochets. And then work four double crochets above each shell to your wrist stitch. When you crochet to your wrist stitch, work two double crochets into the stitch. Then skip the whole shoulder piece. And then work two double crochets into the following wrist stitch. After that, work four double crochets above each shell. And then to the back part, work two double crochets into the stitch, skip the shoulder part, and work again two double crochets into the stitch. Then work four double crochets above each shell again. At the end of the row, work two double crochets into the very last chain, and now you should have 152 chains. Now work three returning chains and continue working double crochet rows without increasing chains. Again, work just regular double crochet rows without increasing chains using a small size crochet hook. Insert the hook into the fifth chain from your hook and double crochet to end. At the end of each row, work three returning chains. After you crochet 24 rows, decrease 10 chains. Begin your 25th row as usual. Work double crochet 11, then work the repeat, 1 decrease, double crochet 12 to end of the row, 1 decrease, double crochet 12, and so on. And then to the 25th row, work 3 returning chains. Starting from the 26th row, 
decrease one chain on each side of a row to decrease one chain on this side enter the hook into the fifth chain from your hook and work one decrease then double crochet to your last three chains of the row and work one decrease again At the end of the 26th row, work 1 decrease, 1 double crochet and 3 returning chains and then work your 27th and following double crochet rows like your row 26, decreasing 2 chains each row until you crochet 32 rows in total. In the second part of the video tutorial, I'll show you how to finish working the body and crochet sleeves.